Stravete. Uh, hello from Bulgaria. Okay, my camera's gone white, gone yellow. There you go. Now I'm back to normal. I thought I had jaundice for a minute. <laughs> Okay, so, so firstly, anyone that doesn't know, I moved to Bulgaria three and a half years ago and bought an old house here, old mud brick and beam house here. Um, I was being prompted to do something with this stupid program. I am using to record this. Hang on. And and a half years it's been one hell of a bloody journey and i haven't made a, a vlog for ages so uh, just a quick update hello true ray hello um to everybody from youtube and facebook my post is on facebook too so yeah it's i don't know what the date is i'll tell you Oh, it's Tuesday. <laughs> Tuesday, the 16th of January. Oh, it is Tuesday. Yeah, it's after 12 o'clock at night. It's like 10 past 12 at night. Freezing cold. I hope a fire go and there's snow outside. Oh, my God. I've got f fuck all wood. Um, and I've got none chopped now. After I use the stuff I brought in tonight. It's none chopped. I keep injuring myself here. I fell down and bloody. I, I was chopping wood yesterday and the axe went halfway through. Well, here they put off and lift, lift it up with a piece of wood on, which I can hardly do anyway. And then hit it on the back of the axe and it splits the wood. Well, the axe bounced off of the wood, stuck to it. Off the choppy block. And whack me on the side of my knee. What's the I broke my toe last week, and I've had a broken shoulder and a broken foot this year. Oh my god! It's not easy being a 53-year-old tranny living in Bulgaria. Should have said sex change. <laughs> sex change. And when I say sex change, just for those that keep saying to me, why well, is sex got anything to do with it? It's not. It's about being... I'm trying to explain my gender history to people. Why do I explain it? Because it's not obvious. Why do I tell people? Because I'm not ashamed of it. <laughs> why not? So there you go. So anyway, so living in Bulgaria. Living in Bulgaria. Had a very unsure time on the planet. In a very hot room with lots of cats and dogs. There's cats and dogs. I'll move my camera before. I'm not going to move it again because it cut it out. But there's cats and dogs everywhere here. One, two, three, four, five. Five cats. And two dogs. Some animals. Olivia, the mad cat lady. <laughs> so yeah, so update, update, update. Hello Ray, if I hadn't already said hello Ray, it's cut out like three times. This is the third time I've started making this video, so forgive me because I'm getting sick of remaking it and I, I can't remember what I've said already. I'm really tired. My bloody knee that I hurt last, yesterday is killing me. And I didn't sleep last night. Well, yeah, last night. So, yeah, I'm tired and bored. Because here, I have no TV. I did have a TV, but I broke it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, so what can I tell you? Oh, God, what can I tell you? This week, well... Well, 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 have a cigarette, Olivia, have a cigarette while you're talking. And no, this is not a joint, it's just a rolly cigarette. 
from tobacco that Dave gave me for helping him stream. Thank you, Davey. <laughs> Davey's my friend's father. He lives here. Um, I've been seeing somebody here, as most people know, for like two years now. Oh, that's an interesting relationship, having a relationship with somebody who doesn't speak the same language. And my Bulgarian is rusty. <laughs> oh, I have to learn more. I have to learn more. But it's not its not an easy language to learn. Even though I live here, I've learned the basics like I've got a shop and I Zaga, Malako, um, Cafe, Katov, which is like Zaga is sugar, Malako is milk, Cafe is coffee, uh, Katov is potato, on and on and on. Mola, Moria is please and thank you. Bugadaya, uh, thank you. Um, yeah, on and on, on and on. Slowly, I am learning a lot. But to be honest with you, it's kind of not nice to have like three years where the majority of people couldn't talk to you. Especially after studying psychology, you learn that interactions between people like little manipulations. It's a very cynical way of looking at it. I'm not cynical about it, really. But people usually want something like recognition, attention, or something, and to have three and a half years without anyone wanting or being able to take that from you or being able to like try to milk you for it has been refreshing to say the least. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, communication. Why? <laughs> <coughs> yeah, so, so what else have I been... Oh, so today I've been stuck inside with my sore knee. I managed to hobble out and bring the last of what I chopped up yesterday before I had my knee. And it's probably about minus 10 or something out there tonight with the snow. Yeah. Anyway, it's nearly spring. Spring is not far away. And I'm looking forward to getting into the garden. Last year I lost everything to blight. And just about gave up on living here. And life. And everything. Oh, it's all the problems. I have my dad so ill at the moment. And I can't get back to New Zealand to see him. He's in the hospital. Or in a home now. Um, very unwell. And is not really aware of what's going on. So. That's a terrible worry. That's a terrible worry. Along with many other worries. Like financial worries and things. It's can all get very bloody stressful. And having a relationship with someone from a different culture when there's absolutely no real sign of commitment <laughs> no sign of commitment no sign of commitment but I do love this person and he makes me laugh but there's nothing more than the occasional night spent here with me <laughs> yeah Oh dear. Yeah. Um, but it's nice. It's nice to have a companion. I should be grateful. Instead of being ungrateful. What else can I tell? I, tell, I mean, I'm talking to most of the people that have watched me before. Sorry. So, yeah. Um, oh, I've been catching up with some friends. I've got the webcam working again that someone gave me a while back. I couldn't get it to work on Messenger, but now I can say, so, yeah, I've started to catch up with a few people. So that's good. <laughs> that's another bloody good thing. That's a great thing to be able to talk to people um, back in the UK and New Zealand. Um, what else have I got to say? 
nothing. <laughs> of course, my hair's dark. If you haven't seen me for a while, I have blonde hair for years. My hair's dark. I think it's blonde and and grey. Regrowth that comes through. Because I'm 53 now. Thank God for front on lighting. <laughs> There's a lot of fine lines and sort of, sort of saggy stuff going on here, which I'm not thrilled about, <laughs> to be honest. I'm not. I've told God what I think of him for doing this to me. He said, I don't mind if you swear at me, Olivia. I made you the way you are. I love you for being such a bitch. Just as well, really. Just as well, because I have sworn and cursed at him lately, especially when I hurt my leg and I couldn't sleep the whole night after having all of these other injuries this year and in just a long period of flu. Oh my god. Talk about struggle. 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 Even to like make a cup of tea sometimes this year with a broken foot or foot and the bloody shoulder thing. Let alone trying to chop wood with a broken shoulder. And because you do it, people think you're alright. But you haven't got any fucking choice because it's fucking freezing. <laughs> oh, she must be alright. I saw her chopping wood. Uh, yeah. Well, there, there you go. So it's been a bloody struggle. But onwards and upwards. Looking forward to spring and I'll be able to get into the garden and replant even though I nearly lost hope last year losing everything the blight all the veggies all the work I put in ground that had never been grown on for 16 years I dug by hand oh my god apart from one patch that Davey helped me with with his right about it the rest I dug by hand and I lost everything to blight oh my once again, God, God, cursed. Poor God. Poor God. I'm sure he understands. He's omnipotent. He knows everything. He knew eons ago that I was going to be here in Bulgaria, cursing him. Because it's all part of his wonderful plan. Sometimes I can't, I fail to see how wonderful it is. But it is. Oh, I'm talking shit. The truth is we manifest what we believe, what we think we create, what we believe, or what we think through our belief systems we create in this reality. I just don't want to have to do all the homework. I thought I'd done it already to be able to create healthy outcomes or manifestations instead of creating from some dark place in my subconscious <laughs> for things I still haven't come to terms with or dealt with Olivia <sighs> so yeah today 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 from sitting here I've been researching researching as lots of people know who have heard me before, I'm into everything from astral travel to looking into like the secrets of the ancient religions to uh, oh, as well as what else I've been looking at, all these ancient sites around Turkey and here. And of course I believe that, uh, that there's a more or less hidden archaeology that there's been civilizations that are just unexplainable um, by mainstream archaeology so I'm fascinated with that and here's another this, this is a mad training range by the way <laughs> here's another thing that's really interesting um, I had a dream the reason why I moved to Bulgaria and not back to be with my family it was because I had it from the UK uh, my family's in New Zealand I was living in the UK I was getting ready to move back I wanted to move back just to be with my family and I had a dream that told me I had to come to Bulgaria 
in that dream, it told me that Bulgaria was Eden, that man originated from Bulgaria, or Thrace, Thrace, the Frisian um, people. I didn't even know where Bulgaria was, I didn't even know anything about it. After being here, I'm researching and finding more and more evidence, like with Vanna Gold, um, some ancient Thracian Thur Thur text that's been translated, and now I see the correlation between the hieroglyphics and the Thracian text, which is 2,000 years older than the uh, Sumerian text, and uh, much older than the Egyptian text. It's very, very interesting to think that humanity could have stemmed here, or at least the Thracians were the original forefathers of the European um, hum humanity, human beings living in Europe. All from a dream. <laughs> These hunches lead me on the strangest journeys. I remember when I moved to the UK, half the reason I wanted to find my sisters. I can't stand me. <laughs> so there you go. No loss there. No loss there, really, because they're just. Yeah. Well, actually, my full sister, but the half sisters don't get on the phone. Um, totally different people with my full sister we just don't I never hear from them so because <laughs> I am I am a tranny I am a transgender person not someone that you want to take home and share with your friends not really no I so you, <laughs> and I'm mad <laughs> That's probably even more to the point. I'm quite mad. So, yeah, yeah. Keep your distance from Olivia. Family. I, um... What am I going on about? Oh, then I've completely lost track. <laughs> so, I'm quite mad. Quite... Yeah. Anyway, so I was talking about three shins and the, and the fact that I moved here and I found and I followed this dream. Oh, that's what I was going to say. Why I moved to part of a reason why I moved to the UK, apart from my sisters, what really motivated me was I come out of this building in Christchurch, New Zealand, and something just hit me that all the buildings of power in Christchurch. I don't know where that came from. Like the original courthouse, the cathedral, were all built on ley lines. Funny enough, there was evidence to show, yeah, that these ley lines crossed through where these buildings were. Um, and oh, it was a very interesting. Anyway, so it, it told me that whoever was behind designing these cities, Freemasons, um, I'd done the same all around the world. This is long before internet or, you know, before I'd seen anything on the internet or didn't have a computer. Back then, I don't even know how old it was. The internet wasn't even on then for most people. Um, but yeah, yeah, I, I just had this inkling and I had to go to the UK just to, I don't know why, but it led me on the strangest path of life. Um, Living in the UK, I met loads of people who were into all sorts of occult, hidden mystery type stuff. It was very interesting. Really interesting journey, the UK. And then, now I've moved to Bulgaria on another hunch that was given to me in a, in a dream. <laughs> Psychosis, Olivia? Lithium? Oh, you know, no, no. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm finding more and more out about that sort of hidden history 
of Bulgaria. Why did they sing a Bulgaria, send a Bulgarian song on Voyager? That's interesting. Maybe the Anunnaki landed in Bulgaria first. Hmm, oh, you never know. <laughs> anyway, anyway, this is getting boring, Olivia. Go, 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 go and stroke a dog, kill a cat, or something. Oh, God, what the fuck am I doing here? Anyway. Yeah. Thanks for watching. <coughs> <coughs> oh, God. Don't smoke shit tobacco. Actually, this isn't shit tobacco. This is a better one. <laughs> and go, Olivia. Hope everybody's okay. Miss everybody. Can't wait for spring. Yeah. And for people that keep mailing me on Facebook, I've had like so many ads lately. Do you know? I'm so sorry. I have sometimes like 30, 40 mails a day. I don't always get straight back to people. I do my best. But some nights I just don't want to talk. Because I'm tired. Or preoccupied. Or I've got my boyfriend here. Or I just don't want to talk. And I had a man get quite shitty with me today. Which I just blocked. Because I didn't get straight back to him, and I hadn't talked to him for like three days. And it's someone that had just added me, and... Yeah, I don't even know the person, and he gets... He, all he'd write was hi, didn't really introduce himself or anything. And then, you know, I don't know these people. Um, and there's a lot of people that add me from YouTube that I don't know you. A lot of a lot of you that add me on Facebook. But you're most welcome. But I have so many mouths from people. I can't sit and talk all day. But I'll make the effort to get back to you when I can. Right. Saying all of that, I'm going to go. God, you poor ugly old Tony, you need a facelift. Does he love me? Does he not? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I'm single or, or with somebody most of the time. That's what makes life exciting, Olivia. Don't be ungrateful. <laughs> okay, well, ciao from Bulgaria. Ciao. Yep, look, I've got a kitten. This is Cotton's. She's naughty, and she's got a little sting, but she's not actually a kitten, she's a year old. Cottons? Oh, it's more for the camera, you're going to give a shitty look. Look, I am fat, and I'm well fed, and I've been asleep on a hair. Poor little cat. She breaks a tail like a dog. <laughs> she th she's a, a a dog cat. A cog. <laughs> a cog, Charlie. Cog. She breaks a tail like a dog. Especially when you get excited, don't you? Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, ciao from Bulgaria. Thanks for watching this very mad tranny, not so ranty rant. Be in touch with everybody as soon as I can. Ciao.